guys, it's Bex from Bexley Creations here with a post review. Um, I do apologize if there's some background noise. I have my <laughs> washing machine and dryer going today. Um, usually yesterday would have been laundry day, but it was around 40 degrees and my dryer heats up my entire unit, so I didn't want to have it going. Um, but today I have to catch up on housework, so... <laughs> Um, so this is the Huacan flower skull, that's what I'm calling it. Um, it <clears throat> you probably have seen the video of me opening the replacement drills. So, uh, let's just start at the beginning here. So that's the picture that was on the website. And then that's what it looks like. Fairly close. Um, I guess because the original picture is a watercolour, it's going to be hard to translate that into a diamond painting. But I, I think it was pretty, pretty close. Um, it is a 40 by 40 centimetre. It cost me uh, $12.81 US full square now I ordered this back at the end of September which as we all know was the Drawmageddon times um, now I didn't start working on this until midway through December last year and when I first started I started on a small section I think it was this section up here and the drawers were absolutely awful. So I messaged to a can and you know at first I got the generic we give you 30% more drills use those response and I replied to them and said if I have to throw out all the bad drills there isn't going to be 30% left. So eventually they agreed to send out replacement drills. So I received them on the 15th of January so then I started this one back up I had to rip out all of the drills I had already put down that was not fun and I was very worried about the glue because it just didn't look right after I'd removed the drills but <clears throat> everything seems to have stuck okay um, the replacement drills were a lot better. Some of these darker colours, the blues, um, the brown, there were some, you know, misshapen drills, some with the little extra bits on them, but probably what you would expect in a regular diamond painting. Um, this colour here, the 3756, was wonderful. Um, I actually got a lot of practice in with my multi-placer putting these down. However, I have noticed that, and you can probably see even from a distance, there's a lot of like gaps. Um, so even though the drills were better, they just haven't fit together as well. Um, now, I do have some, they're not so much popping up as not adhering to the canvas um i've seen one just came up then <laughs> i have been rolling over this with a rolling pin so many times and like i said they're not popping up like they fit where they should go but it's like one side just sort of tilts up a little and they just don't want to sit back down it's like they're not sticking properly I don't know if it's the base of the drill if it's the glue on the canvas um, so this one I'm thinking of actually buying the what is it the Tombow liquid glue to seal it and see what that does um, because yeah otherwise it's, it's gonna have to go behind glass 
because I really don't think my spray sealer will fix the ones that just want to fall off. Um, so yeah, I might have to buy some of that liquid glue and, and lather it on and see how we go. Um, so I'll bring it up a bit closer and you can see some of the drills. So yeah, there's some spots where it just, there's gaps, um, and it just seems to be very noticeable, especially in these whiter areas. Um, and I did notice along the bottom here, like the canvas itself was a bit wrinkled, but it had been laying flat for ages, but just, just on the very bottom of the, especially this section, there was a lot of crinkles that I couldn't get to lay flat. Um trying to think what else aside from just those drills that just don't seem to want to stick it was pretty good um, I finished it yesterday which was the 3rd of February but yeah I started it mid-December so it's been on and off um, and then I had to wait for the new drills and so yeah I guess probably a few weeks it took me once I got those new drills um, there are some color choices I mean from a distance through looking through the camera it doesn't look too bad but like there's a lot of browns in these leaves and yeah, I guess like in the picture it's sort of a brownish green but to me it's just a lighter green so, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. I don't really think I want to keep it. Uh, I might try once it's all sealed and fixed and that. Maybe selling it or something, I don't know. Skulls are a tricky area. Some people love them, some people don't. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much all I had to say about this one. So, yeah, I know some people are buying Hua Can kits recently and still getting the drill issues. And all I can think of is that they're still giving out old drills because they don't want to throw them all away. Um, but to me, if you know that your old stock is bad quality then you need to get rid of them and start sending out the new stock to get your reputation back. Um, I think in future, if I'm ordering from Pulican, it's going to be rounds until I know for sure that the issues are fixed. Um, but I know a lot of places, like you can see the image on one store and another five stores have it, so there's no no reason that you would have to buy from who can if you didn't want to um so yeah i don't have a rating system let me know if you think i should bring one in um i'm not sure how i feel about them to be honest because sometimes one that you think is great can end up being rated quite poorly because of one issue so i i think it's better just to for me personally, um, to just tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about the, the painting. Um, I just noticed I really need to fix my nail polish. <laughs> Being a bit lazy with that. I wish I could get Color Street nails over here. I've seen so many YouTubers using the Color Street and they look great. But apparently they don't ship to Australia, so. And I don't want to try Jamberry because they're different, apparently. They're not just nail polish strips. You have to heat them and glue them on and... Yeah. So, that is my post-review of the Huacan Flower Skull. Uh, feel free to leave a like. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I should have some more unboxings soon. I think my two orders that I'm waiting on have finally landed in Australia. 
Plus, there's one I'm waiting on from an Australian store that I don't even know if it's been shipped yet. I ordered it. They emailed me telling me they would send it the following week because they didn't have access to it at the moment, whatever that means. And I've heard nothing. So, I wanted to start ordering from a bunch of Australian places and sort of reviewing them. So, yeah. Um... So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.